hey y'all welcome back to the channel if you are new or returning i appreciate you for being here welcome to carolina homestead tommy bites tv so i'm gonna be doing um a few stores because i have to do my christmas shopping i have not done any christmas shopping as far as groceries okay so i gotta do a christmas grocery but i still couldn't figure out what in the world i wanted to eat and i still don't know oh, it all with you by my side if you're in meet me here tonight Who's to do whatever comes next So I'm about to go into the Walmart and try to finish up this list. Wish me luck, because I hate going in here when it's a lot of people. Hey y'all, hey y'all. Okay, I finally made it home and it is late. I had to go to so many places just to find what I needed and I'm still short, I think two things. So let me show you what I have. So if you hear um noise in the background um my daughter brought the kids over after they had been in quarantine for about a week so we should be good y'all okay so i had to go to dollar uh i about to say dollar general so i had to go to dollar tree aldi's walmart and piggly wiggly so let me just do a scan and show you So we're gonna start here at the Dollar Tree. And so I got me one of these, I love root beer. And I knew I was about to go get me a hot dog from Rush's. So <laughs> I didn't want their drink and I wanted a root beer. So I got that from the um, Dollar Tree. And I told y'all when my grands come over, I try to get these. Any other time I don't buy these. And then I bought this for myself for later um because we plan to watch a movie and then i also got some tissue paper i don't know if you can see that i also got some tissue paper right here to put in these bags for some gifts for my mom and my dad if y'all didn't know at least my dollar tree they sell the newspaper and so today i noticed that they had these uh sales papers in here i guess for the day after christmas shopping 30 percent off 80 percent off cvs and all these different places so i will be looking at that later i always try to get a newspaper even if i don't go shopping the day after christmas i still try to get a newspaper just to see what what's going on um these right here i didn't get these from the dollar tree these just happened to be on the table and i forgot to put them up but these came from aldi's those were 250 danish cookies okay so that's it from the dollar tree i just ran in there really to get that newspaper and i ended up with the bags and the chips um because newspapers here cost uh three dollars and fifty cents i believe so this is aldi's right yeah this is all i got from aldi's because i couldn't find any flour that i wanted or well the ones they had were more than I wanted to spend. So I got this flour right here. It's a five pound bag. It was a dollar fifteen all purpose flour because I have some baking that I want to do. And then uh another bag of sugar. I had some, but I knew I probably didn't have enough. So this was a dollar and ninety cent. They didn't have any size. Um let me get out my light. Any of the um sugar this size right here is the four pound bag at the walmart and that's all i got from 
all these. So over here, I got this stuff right here from Piggly Wiggly. I don't. I should have had the rest of the stuff over there from Piggly Wiggly. We'll just go over there and see. So I got some of these cuties right here. And these cuties were, if I'm not mistaken, uh, on sale for like dollars. I thought I wrote it on there, but it probably wiped off. Then over here, I got the instant packets right here of the Folgers. It was $1.89. And the reason I got this is because I'm going to try to make a German chocolate cake. And it requires um, an instant coffee or espresso to put in it. So I bought that for my cake. And then I got the Baker's German Sweet Chocolate. This Baker's German Sweet Chocolate was $2.85. And this will, you know, of course, be for the German chocolate cake. And then I got these pans right here. You see the size? This is a 13 and a half by nine pan. And it was two for five, so I got that. And then this huge one right here, I'm gonna put my turkey wings in there in the oven. Cause I was gonna do it in the slow cooker, but I said, no, I'll just do it in the oven. And this was like a um, dollar 19 for this big old pan. And that was from Piggly Wiggly. And then also from Piggly Wiggly, I found my turkey wings finally. Y'all know I've been looking for these turkey wings and I found two, well, they had like five packs yeah they had five five or six packs i got two this one was 676 and that one was six dollars and sixty cents and they, these are some huge turkey wings i mean huge turkey wings right here and i think that's all i got from the piggly wiggly so now we're gonna move on to the walmart which um, was the last store that I went to. And so we'll start here. I needed some chicken broth because I used up all my chicken broth from making dressing and turkey and all of that stuff. I also have some um, turkey stock that I saved from my turkey. I actually canned it and put it in the refrigerator. So I'll be using that on my turkey wings instead of this right here. This will just be for my dressing so this right here was 50 cent a can I don't know if you can see it because i'm keep standing in the light y'all this is 50 cent a can so i got three of those and then i got two of the evaporated milk which was also 50 cent a can i already have some of the carnation one but i didn't see any carnation milk in there y'all they i should have recorded that because their whole sugar thing, all the sugar was gone. I bought some egg roll wrappers, which weren't on my list. Because this is like my Christmas dinner um, stuff that I bought. But this right here is like, I'll probably make these egg rolls this weekend. Um, because people are going to get tired of eating turkey. So I'll probably make some Philly cheese uh, egg rolls. And that was $3.50. And then over here, we have some unsalted butter because like I said, I have some bacon I'm gonna do. I have, um, I think I have four packs of this unsalted butter already in the refrigerator, but I said, well, I need to get some more because I added a pie to my situation. Anyway, neither here nor there. So then I found my chicken gizzards. And it, they are $1.86. I use these in my dressing. Um, the dressing I made for Thanksgiving, I had added, um, I had these in there and chicken livers. And, but I also added the um, creamy chicken, cream of chicken is what I added to it. And we ate it, but my daughter was like, could you please make the original one that you always make? So that's what I'm going to do with that. Minus the, um cream of chicken i'll be using this right here bra so i also have the two 18 large eggs because it's gonna require eggs for my um dressing 
eggs for my cake, eggs for my <laughs> for my cheesecake. So eggs, 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 and then I'll probably be making uh, eggs for a Christmas um, breakfast. And so those were a dollar eighty two. And then I already did that one. So I also got uh, some buttermilk. My ring light is showing up. I got some buttermilk right here. That's also in case I decide to do the two ingredient biscuits that I keep putting off doing because it makes me nervous to think that I'm going to try that. But everybody's trying it. I need to try it. So... And I told Granny Karma I was going to try it. So now I have these nine inch pans that I needed because I don't know what happened to my last ones. So I still have to get, um, dang, I forgot. I still have to get my cheesecake pan because it's best to do it in that um, cheesecake pan instead of, um, this is for my, what is this for? This is for my German chocolate cake. I got two of those. Those were $3.90 and they are heavy, y'all. They cost more in Walmart. Matter of fact, yeah, because these didn't come from Walmart. These came from Piggly Wiggly. Those were supposed to be over there. So right here, I got some paper plates for $1.48. And then I got some elbow macaroni for 80. No, I'm going to put 89 cents up there. It's $1.38. They used to be 89 cents. Why did they go up? Or maybe it's because it's the name brand. I don't know. I had some, but I said, just in case, I don't. Let me grab this so I don't have to get that and go back in the store. Y'all know how it is. Because I'm making some macaroni and cheese also for my dinner. And then I have one, two, three, four of the cream cheese. They were out of the Philadelphia one. So I had to settle for that. I prefer, I would prefer to use the Philadelphia cream cheese because I've never used this. So I don't, I'm hoping that this comes out right in my um, peppermint cheesecake. Then I got, this bacon came from Piggly Wiggly. And this bacon was original $11.99 on sale for $9.99. Then I got the oil right here for $4.88 from Walmart. I showed you my turkey wines. And I got some aluminum foil. That was $3.48. And then over here, I got my cheese for my mac and cheese. I got the mild cheddar. It was $2.77. It's a one-pound bag. But then I also got a two-pound bag which they said it shows you the cups and everything so you'll know that's this equals four cups and this equals eight cups and so i got this one right here was 534 this one is a kobe monterey jack i like to mix my cheese and add this right here to it so over here i have some applesauce i love applesauce um i usually keep these in my room to be honest I keep these in my room. I ration these out because I like, I have to have my applesauce. Um, and I haven't had it in a while. So I got these. Um, what was the applesauce? 123. And so the honey made graham crackers. Of course, I got that for my cheesecake. Well, my son's peppermint cheesecake. It's $3.22. Which I only need like probably one or two sheets from it. But I'm going to put these in upstairs in the prepper room in the prepper room so i got the pecans right here this will also go on my german chocolate cake this coconut flakes will also go on my german chocolate cake because they'll be mixed with these right here and Mm, I can't wait. Well, I don't really eat it, but I'm going to try it. Um, it's my husband's favorite, not necessarily mine. So I got some bananas right here because um, I need some potassium. I take potassium pills, but I prefer just to try to do right here in case I forget to take my potassium pills. I can just eat a banana. 
and I think that's it for my haul because right here I bought these I didn't put these in my last um haul video I bought some apples uh, apple slicer um I think my last Walmart haul or the one before that and I didn't write the price down but I believe this was like five dollars maybe from Walmart and then I had got this bunt pan which I will be using on Thursday probably so I bought this this is a nine inch also I'm gonna have to go to Dollar General and get that cheesecake pan they have them for six dollars y'all they cost way more in the Walmart the cheesecake pans but this pan right here was only um three dollars and no yeah it was under five dollars I think it was like three something so I'll be doing that. And of course, you see down there, I have like my canning supplies and stuff over here. I have my storage buckets, my food grade buckets that I have to store my rice in that I still have not done. My rice is sitting under that um, water can, water bath can right there. That's ridiculous. I need to get on it and I'm, I'm slacking. So y'all, that's it for this haul. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the channel and turn on your post notifications and hit that symbol next to it that says all. So you'll see all my uploads when they upload, when they get on the YouTube. And thank y'all for being here. I really do appreciate y'all watching the haul. I hope that y'all have a very blessed and Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Wanna do it all with you by my side If you're in, meet me here tonight Be brave and come along, I'll be your life Promise we don't need no big lights We can travel the world, so just say